Hi, my name is Oliver Fernandez, project leader for Festo Canada in the Customer Solutions Department. Right now, we are in the Festo warehouse in Mississauga. We would like to present a large gantry system that we have designed for one of our customers, and it is in the sorting and packaging application. We'll start at the base. What we have here is a dual X-axis system, double the bearing support, but as well as double the feed force. Right now, this is actually a 7.3 meter long axis. This is our EGC series. And the longest we can do is actually 8.5 meters, so we're pretty much at the range of our standard offering. These are called floating joints or flex joints. They provide a lot of compliance during assembly. So it decreases the assembly time, but it increases the bearing life of these gantry systems. These floating joints, they come in pairs. One pair defines the position of the y-axis to the x-axis, and the other pair follows or complies with, with the motion. What that allows the assembler to do is, normally without those joints, these two x-axes have to be aligned at a very close tolerance. We're talking about maybe fractions of millimeters. With these floating joints, the tolerance is opened up to millimeters. That'll save a lot of hours on assembly, but also will increase the, the bearing life of your gantry system. So the dual x-axis is driven by a T-gearbox with a connecting shaft between the two x-axes, and it's driven by our Festo EMME motor, and it's a safety rated motor. Now I'll go on to the x-axis. So the x-axis, the series is EGC HD. And these are ideal for these bridge type of axes because since they are a double rail, it provides a lot of moment capabilities for, for your payload, especially when it's moving. For the y-axis, we utilize the EGC HD series and what that is is a double rail system. It's a very strong structure. This is powered by or driven by our Festo motor, EMME series. This one specifically is our HGO module. So these are standard gantry configurations that we can order from our plant in Mason, Ohio. And what that comes with is the EGC actuator, along with the cable track and mounting brackets and cable track trough. That all comes pre-assembled to our facility or to our customer's facility. That's a big selling points and benefit for the HGO series of actuators and gantries. This is the Z-axis. What we're using here is the EGC ball screw series. Uh, one of the reasons we're using this is the payload that we have to deal with for this application is 50 kilograms. So by using a ball screw actuator, we are able to get a lot of feed force from, from this actuator. We had some height constraints as well, so we utilized a parallel kit to go along with our EMME motor. In this configuration, like what we do in a lot of our Z-axis applications, is we mount the carriage as the fixed portion, and the boom or the body goes up and down. So the last actuator we have on this four-axis gantry system is our electric rotary module, the ERMB. This has an infinite rotation since it's electric and this will be the interface between our gantry system and the customer end of arm tooling. It's powered by our EMME motor and what you can see here is we have some I.O. modules and what this allows the customer and for us to do is to connect various sensors to these blocks and then we'll allow just one cable to run through the cable track back to your panel, simplifying the cable management system of the gantry. Another thing we provide to the customer is uh, the cable management. What comes with each gantry is the cable tracks for each axis, and we also work with the customer in order to determine what room they need in the cable tracks and in what orientation they need. As you can see in this gantry, we provided the cable management for our Festo motors, but also left room for the customer utilities as well. In this case, because it's such a long gantry, we've employed the, the type of cable track system that rides on itself, and that is pretty much a necessity for long axis travel like this gantry. As you can see, the gantry is moving, so you can see how the cable management works very nicely. On the far end, you'll see the X cable track, and when I was referring to long strokes, 
We are utilizing the cable track that glides on itself and is self-supporting. One thing I'd like to mention about this gantry system is an option for a customer could be to be using a robot. However, the benefit of using a gantry over a robot is if you had to use a robot in this situation, it would need a seventh axis. And because of the reach, the robot would be very large and very heavy. Because it's very large and heavy, your supporting structure would be very complex and expensive. In this situation, where this is situated in the customer site, the robot would actually have to be inverted, mounted upside down towards the ceiling, which is very costly, potentially dangerous. And this is where a four axis gantry system works very well in this application. We do offer some on-site customer assistance for install. We have our production team that can go down and our application engineers that can go down to help. Also with the customer solutions department, with uh, the project leader associated with the project can also be involved with the customer setup. As the name implies, we customize solutions. We're part of the design team for our customers. That offloads a lot of their work. We take on that, that load, frees up the customer to work on other aspects of the project. Hi, my name is Alejandro Lopez. I'm part of the customer solutions team and I, I'm running the controls group. Here we're going to see uh, this is a multi-kinematic system which is in charge of multiple axes at the same time. The way that it works is we connect with a higher level PLC like Siemens, Rockwell or any other in the market through a standardized field bus technology such as Ethernet IP, Profinet or any other and then we're taking care of all the motion for the higher level PLC. We can synchronize multiple axes at the same time and we can have multiple group of axes. In this application we have three different kinematics. The first group of axes will take care of the first kinematics which are these ones here where we control X, Y, Z and Rory. The second group of kinematics will be only one axis which is this one here and the third kinematics will be part of this axis. They are all combined in the same package and then they are controlled by higher level PLC. In this case, we run on Profinet and Siemens controller. We standardize on software and also mechanical concepts. In this case, we use a standardized cabinets, but we modify those based on our needs and customer needs. And then we bring it to the market as a one package solution for the customer. We take our standard solutions, bring it to the market, and standardize on the software for an easy integration. One of the good features that we have in this such a system is for high dynamics and high velocities and acceleration, we are also having a braking resistor system, which is taking care of the full load of the axis when it's decelerating or braking. For this particular application, we have an additional portion of the cabinet just dedicated for heat dissipation. And the braking resistors are fully calculated in our automated system called the handling guide online and all the details are managed directly by the system uh, online. Our backbone for FESTA controllers is EtherCAT, and th in this case, we are running a cable in daisy chain on every drive, and we cover EtherCAT protocol. The second one is Profinet. For the Profinet interface, we communicate over this cable here, and we go up to the master or higher level controller, which is in this case is Siemens PLC. In terms of safety and security in the machine or inside the gantry, we have a dedicated card, which are these ones here. This is called an S3 Safe Speed Card. What it does is we control the speed inside the gantry in a safe way. The operator can interact directly with the gantry at safe speed, similar to the six-axis robots in the market. That would also allow us to do teaching or manually jogging inside the safety area. That is unique in the market for our drives because this is a certified card that it can only be programmed by a certified technician and is stamped with their signature for tracking purposes. Our controller runs multiple networks, so in the future, if you don't want to use maybe Profinet, you want to use Ethernet IP or any other protocol, our controller will be able to take that. And the bottom portion, which is this one, will remain the same. So we standardize on function blocks for higher level PLCs, and then all the bottom is running on EtherCAD for high speed operation. Another unique portion of this system is the usage of a teach pendant. The teach pendant is allowing you as an operator to go inside the gantry and use a deadman switch to be able to control the axis in a safe way. We can use a deadman switch and by using this, we can control directly the speed on every single axis. I can select, let's say, the X axis in this case. I can change the velocity from the speed rate and 
I can jog every axis individually. So that allows me to control every axis for teaching purposes. But it's also safe because as soon as I release the deadman switch, it's going to disengage all the motors and it's safe for the operator. That's one of the good advantages of using the CMMP cards from Festo with the safety car certified.